At least a dozen wounded warriors, veterans, gave a new meaning to the sky's the limit today. 39's Andrew Wynn has the story of amputees who went airborne for a good cause. They get their thrills jumping out of a plane, but look closer and you'll realize these are no ordinary skydivers. They're amputee veterans, and among them was Johnny Wynn, who lost his leg in Iraq last summer. I was hit by a roadside bomb, and the projectile of the bomb went through the right side of my Humvee and exited the left side, taking my leg with it. You have to relearn how to live your life, basically. Today was the wounded warrior's first time to free fall for the organization Limbs of Love, which raises money to buy new prosthetics for civilian amputees like Linda Miller, who lost her leg due to diabetes. That whole foot was losing circulation and eventually it infected and the infection was spreading so fast that it was either my leg or my life. With this prosthetic, maybe I'll be able to just get up and go again. Aaron Acosta, who lost all four limbs in an electrical accident, says people like him usually can't afford adequate prosthetics. I really don't know how much this is cost, but I had an idea that uh, about $45,000, so really is very, very expensive for me and I think for many persons, so I appreciate it really too much. These veterans say their message to other amputees is to never give up hope. Keep going and going and going. There's always something else you can do. And to continue to live life to the fullest and that the sky is the limit. Life, is, life isn't over. It still goes on. You're still a human being. You're still a person. And it's just a limb. That's all, that's all it is. Andrea Wynn, 39 News.